Durag Wisdom here and welcome to Earth Date Y2K17.05.19 and we've reached the season of the witch as in check this out see mm -mm, right because after all he is the most persecuted politician in history it's a witch hunt so let's uh, talk a little bit about that folks because you see the man on my shirt as far as I'm concerned you know flaws corporatist not as liberal as I would like him to be blah 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 I consider him one of the greatest presidents in recent history Barack Hussein Obama. I was lucky enough to be alive during his presidency. The great last eight years that he was in, I gotta tell you, if it wasn't for that president, I would have lost all the money that I had in my TDA, which wasn't a lot. Tax deferred annuity. And uh, thanks to him, he came into power brought the stock market back uh, I was able to get my TDA back and I was able to put a down payment down on where I'm living now so I will always be grateful uh, loved his family his wife a great person um, couldn't ask for anything more in a presidency I mean the guy the guy uh, helped to kill that creep Ben Laden, got rid of Gaddafi, uh, he improved our economy and brought us an Affordable Care Act, which since I'm a, uh, I already have health care under my pension and my you know, city service, but he brought a lot of historical things to us. Plus, he was an intelligent, articulate professor. Someone who, you know, not, knew about the law. A scholar. Respected science. Could change his mind. Could admit when he was wrong. I gotta tell you, in a celebrity death match, they used to have this thing, the celebrity death match. It was so funny. I wish they'd bring it back. He had these claymation figures based on celebrities and they'd be beating the shit out of each other. <laughs> I think they had one Gandhi versus uh, Hitler. I don't know. It was like some kind of real, all kinds of crazy stuff. So I'd like to see a celebrity death match between uh, the Trumpoon and uh, President Obama. And I got to tell you, in the cartoon, President Obama would kick his ass, and in real life, President Obama would kick his ass. I mean, uh, the way this creep Trump is running his administration, it's like a reality TV show. He's firing the, like The Apprentice, like he was doing. Freaking piece of crap. And um, why not? Let's have a like a WWE style, realistic, you know, build up. That's what he's doing. Let's like the grudge match, get it together, the interviews, get it, you know, have President Obama going, I'm gonna take that pencil neck little geek and I'm gonna twist his head around. He's not gonna know which way to look. He's gonna look like a pretzel, a weak pretzel in the streets of New York. Let me tell you something right now. Cause I don't take any stuff from pencil neck geeks right out there. I'm telling you, look at my face. I don't take stuff from pencil neck geeks. It'll be a great match, let me tell you. I like to go on for a week, like hardcore, 24-7, like on the streets in New York. You know, the guy Trump could be walking along and all of a sudden Obama jumps him, puts him into a hole, you know, you know, one, two, three counts, you know, all that kind of stuff. I remember the Obama administration. The indignities that the GOP heaped upon him with the great help of Roger Ailes, may he rest in pieces, uh, Bill O. the Clown, and of course the birther bastard himself, 
Donald Berther shit turd. Okay. He was, here he was, President of the United States, the first African American black person President of the United States with a great name. And here this creep, Bertha Bastard Trump Putin, this Trump Poon, this Trump Boon, this Trump Poo, to pass around that this false this fake news that uh, Obama, President Obama wasn't born here. He wasn't an American. Well, every president who's, who runs has been vetted. Birth certificate, social security, everything. Does that Trump clown think we're all stupid? How do I know that he has a birth certificate here? Honestly, if you look under his hair, Robin Williams said it perfectly, that thing on his head, that's really an alien eating into his brain and taking over. And you know, it's probably, or it's a remote control device being uh, operated by Putin. Okay, Trump. It's a witch hunt. It's a witch hunt. So this is what you got to do. You got to remember. You have to remember that the GOP as soon as we had our first black president went into action and started destroying or trying to destroy the presidency of this great man. And he worked hard and he had dignity and he stood and he accomplished whatever he could in the face of this horrific attack on his presidency by the GOP every day, every single day of his campaign. All right? It was every day. Every time he woke up. And how did President Obama react? With dignity. Talk about witch hunts. Bitch McDumbbell promised we're gonna make him a one-term president. And no matter if the GOP was in the minority in the first two years of the Obama administration, they stood tall and attacked and attacked. When I mean tall, I mean tall together. Unlike the Democrats who failed to back their president from day one. To the extent that the GOP are helping the guy that's in there now. See, there's a difference between the Democrats and the GOP. And the Democrats have to learn to be standing tall and standing nasty and in the faces of these GOP fascist turds. They should have stood right up alongside Obama during the assault by the GOP all the eight years, especially when the nightmare happened and the st stupid voters of this country had the GOP take over everything, and now they're really in there, you know? They're really in. They have like, um, they have a, uh, the gerrymandering and the voter suppression, and I don't have to get into it. But here this creep is in office now, right? This creep, right there, has the nerve what he and his party put our previous president through, that he can now stand in front of all of us and say that he is suffering the worst witch hunt of any quote-unquote politician in history? He can say that with a straight face? I've read 1984 many, many times, and I recognize this lying, stinking creep what he is. A lying, weak-limbed person of no character who lies like a fountain of blood who hasn't got the guts, hasn't got the spine to be president of the United States. And if he is innocent, he should allow for every investigation possible and keep his big 
trap shut and stand there in dignity, professionally, intelligently, like his predecessor did, the great President Obama. Please run again. It's okay, Grover Cleveland skipped the term and became president again. Please, President Obama, you could beat the shit out of this weak, whiny little creep who doesn't know what a witch hunt is.